Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial and today we're going to learn how to create a CSS menu. As you can see in the demo here, there are some hoverable CSS submenus and submenus within submenus. Once again, this is what we're going to create. The rest is just uh, a basic demo page that I've put together so that the menu appears more in place inside an actual uh, web page. And if you like the content of my tutorial, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as it does help me get out more tutorials. So going back to the tutorial, to start off, we have to create an HTML file. So open up your text editor, create a basic HTML document, create some header tags inside. and save it as index.html. At the very beginning, we have to uh, now declarate our doc type, which I'm just going to copy and paste. So that's my copy and pasted doc type. I'll create a, I'll, I'll paste the, the doc type text in the, in the comment section or in the link that I'm going to provide in the comment section so that you guys can just copy and paste instead of having to uh, type it all out. And the reason why we're declaring the doc type is because if you don't, some of the browsers are not going to be able to uh, display your CSS properly and they're not going to uh, have the hoverable CSS menus or some of the CSS menus will appear but they'll appear in the wrong places. So make sure you uh, declare the doc type at the very top. And let's give this uh, page a title of Pure CSS Menu. And in order to create our CSS menu, which is all going to be uh, based from code, there's no images from Photoshop, and there's no JavaScript involved, it's all going to start with an unordered list. So let's create an unordered list. Let's give this a class of top nav. And we're going to create some uh, list items inside. So list item. Then we're going to also create a link item, link tag inside. So let's give this a class of top nav list. And let's give this a tag of class top nav a. Copy and paste this a few times. And actually, we're going to uh, put a pound sign for the link tags. And here, let's give it a label of um, iPod Touch iPod Nano Long Link Computers and Laptops iPhones and um, Netbooks And let's say we want to create a submenu for a uh, submenu for the link computers and laptops. So right after the closing uh, link tag, we're going to create some space. And we're going to create another unordered list tag. So for the class name of this, we're going to call it subnav, and once again some link and a tags, list and link tags, and some a tags inside, and let's give this a class name of top, oops, subnav list. And this one we're going to give a class name of 
sub nav a. Copy and paste that a few times. Dragons, pork chop, seashells, and starfish. Now once we have that, we are going to create our last submenu. And let's say I want to create it in the link seashells. So once again, create some space. Create an unordered list. And let's give this a class of subnav2. And uh, we're going to once again create some link and list tags. And give it some class names for future reference. Do the same for the A tag. And copy and paste that a few times. The original link, um, let's give this one the name of labels. Second label, third label. So just put some random text in there. And uh, that concludes our making of the HTML file. We're now ready to move on to the CSS. So if we take a look at what we just created, it will look like this. There's iPod Touch, iPod Nano, and then all the sub menus. First, what we want to do is give the top uh, top link um, appear horizontal instead of how it's displaying vertical here. So in order to do that, we're first going to create a CSS menu. So make make a new uh, text file, and we're going to save this as uh, CSS or menu.css inside a folder called CSS just to organize things. So menu.css here. And we're going to link it from the beginning uh, from the beginning HTML file. So we go to the top header section, create a link tag. Type is text CSS href CSS slash menu.css. And first, let's get rid of all the, the list styles, since we really don't need them. So uh, let's say top nav list. Top nav is the class for the very uh, top unordered list. So this will say, let's apply this style to all the list tags within the very uh, outside unordered list. So in our case, it's going to be applying it to everything. So list style is equal to none. If we go back, refresh, and uh, make it big again, there's no list styles. And we also want to get rid of the default paddings and margins because they're going to be different from